All right, so let's move on to our implementation of the week. What do you have for us this week, Tyler? Yes, this week we've got an implementation around the deals module that'll basically help you track and sort your deals based on the next activity that you have planned for that deal. And that's when we're talking about an event or a call or a task with a due date. So for those watching us on YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and pull up a screen here in one of our little demo accounts. And I've got a couple deals up on the screen. And we'll see that for example one, right? We don't have any activities planned for it. There's no little flag over here on the far left. Whereas for activity or for our example deal two, we do have this task and this activity date. And so this actually was something that was requested by a client because at their company, they expect their sales reps to have some type of open activity for every single deal. Right. And then they want to be able to help those sales reps sort these deals by that next activity date. And so the way that this works is basically that, you know, if you're working inside of one of your deals and you go ahead and create an activity. So for sake of conversation, let's say we're going to create a task here. And any task is always going to have a due date. Right. And so we'll say that the due date for a task could be something like April 1st. And so now we'll see we have this task with a due date. And originally, right, we don't have a next activity date. But once that task is completed, that next activity date will actually get filled in. Right. And so the goal here, though, is not just a simple fill, but what if you know you have multiple activities that are scheduled at once? All right. So for example, let's say we had another task that was going to be due on the 30th of March. So before that first task that we put in there for the 1st of April. And so if I go ahead and create a new task with the due date of April 31st, it'll actually go ahead and update our next activity date to that date on March 30th. And then last but not least here, you know, if you were to create a task for out in the future, Right, and let's say we had a task for the 10th of April, so kind of out past when these other tasks are gonna be due. We'll notice that that will actually not overwrite our next activity date because it is further out into the future than either of the two tasks that are created before it. Um, the kind of last little piece here is that if you go ahead and complete a task, so let's say this task for March 30th is completed, so now the next task that's due is going to be due on April 1st, and we can actually see that the next activity date updates to that task. So it'll basically keep referencing our open activities list every time that an update is made to any record in that list, whether it's a task, event, or call, and basically keep everything straight for you. So now if we look at it from the list view, we can see that we have these flags, which are showing you know, what's due and what's overdue. So both these were in the green, right? Because these are due in the future. And then we're able to sort based on this next activity date to basically give you a quick view to see in order, right? What are the dates that need, or what are the deals that need a touch um, the soonest? So it's kind of a way to just create yourself a useful little view um, where you can, in essence, sort by the due date or start date of your next activity for a deal. Yeah, and I think one thing kind of didn't show here that's important to note is because you say, well, why don't I just put the due date as a field and we sort by that? Uh, because they're different. So if, if you have an actual task, that's a different field than it is for an event and a different field than it is for a call. So this is actually pulling off those three disparate fields, looking at the most current one and populating it there. And if you don't yeah, have a so task, it's... Go ahead. Go ahead. No, it's fine. So yeah, you do bring up a good point that you could look inside the activities module and sort there. And you know, you could even write a script that says, you know, maybe we make a general activity date field, right? And we take the due date from a task and the start date of an event and we write both of those and kind of consolidate it. Then you could sort your activities by that field and and there's nothing wrong with that, but the big advantage of this is that you're still looking at deals. Right, so you're still able to quickly reference the amount and the stage and your anticipated closing date. Whereas if you go the route of tracking all of this inside of activities, you just lose some of the rest of this information 
from your deal pipeline. Thank you.